Hello, my lovelies. How is everyone out there doing today? I want to welcome you to my channel. If you have not been here before, my name is Jenny. And if you have been here before, welcome back. So let me tell you, I have been trying for like three and a half hours to do this video. If you have not heard my story, then I'm going to tell you. If you have, you're going to hear it again. I have bipolar disorder, social anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, too many freaking disorders. So it, sometimes it takes me forever just to get on here and do this. But once I'm on here, I love doing it. It just sometimes takes me forever to psych myself out to do it. Today, I'm having a horrible hair day. I'm having a really bad eyebrow day. So let's just try to, we should try covering them things up, shall we? Because they, they just really suck ass. They, they, they really bad. Anyway, I have some new ColourPop palettes that I showed in my last video, which I'll link up here. That video I felt really crappy in. I have no makeup on. I was like, shit. So just kind of, you know. And yes, I do curse sometimes in this video. So I apologize. If nobody wants to hear that, then might not want to be here if you do then hey hey how you doing anyway i'm a little weird mood today i'm always weird but i'm like in a really weird mood so kind of have to bear with me um one of the reasons i'm in a weird mood is because i fell for this foundation do not like it so far and let me tell you the main reason i don't like it it stinks it's got such a strong chemical odor that i can't even tell you what i'm what i'm trying to get across to you guys the the concealer which is i have two of their concealers one i use for concealing pimple breakouts and the other one i use for underneath my eyes because they sent me the one i got for free they didn't charge me for it because i had so much trouble trying to get one from them and then they sent me another one to try out and i do like it it does not have a smell at all um and i do like it so i thought well, let me try their foundation i've been seeing the video now for like two years so why not try it and i got it in the other day i actually had it in my one of my videos i actually was checking the door when i put my eyebrows on and the, it came to the door and i went and got it and i thought let me try it. it looked a little dark in the bottle and i put it on this morning and i mean it is a little dark and you know, yeah i think it is coming across you can actually see it's dark and this is color number 035 and it's called woke up like this and from every video i've seen i think they all had the same foundation and even though they make you fill this little questionnaire out about your skin tone their undertones what color family you're in, things like that. And then they asked you, like, what kind of coverage you like, whether you want a medium, a light, you know, full coverage, what kind of, what kind of um, coverage you're looking for, whether you want, um, like, a, a radiant or, you know, if you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, whatever. I think everybody ends up with the same one, to be honest with you, because every review I've seen is the same one. Anyhow, I have dehydrated, dry in type, normal to, to dry skin kind of thing from my chemo. It dehydrated my skin out. I used to have very combination skin. I used to get very oily in my T-zone during the summer. I no longer get that way. Um, but I do still have some oiliness right around my, my nose. Within a second of putting this on, it was like, took me aback. I did not want to put it around my nose. That's how strong this odor was. And I do have other foundations that have a chemical smell to it. Um, my Zoeva had a little bit of a smell to it. And a couple other ones, I can't remember off the top of my head which ones, had a little bit of an odor. But this was just unfreaking real the odor this had to it so i thought well, let me wear it and see what happens and as soon as i put it on like right here which i'm having like major breakouts right now burned like burned i wanted to take it off right away and i thought eh, if i do that then i'm not getting a full I'm not getting a full review for you guys to let you know how it wears and things like that i've had it on now for three hours when i first put it on within i guess 15 20 minutes i did start to notice it dried down very it was very dry dry and tightening um like right through here it started to kind of fade off it's very dry and right like right in here for some reason it, it just feels cracky and drying um um and it just like feels it doesn't feel heavy that's one thing it does not feel it doesn't feel heavy some of my other foundations feel heavy this one does not it just feels like tight and like even down through here it's already starting to sink in i just don't like it at all and i've already emailed them and told them not happy with it i told them i'm not happy with it that um that i more than likely will send it back i've already emailed them and told them that i am not happy with their foundation and the first email i got returned to me saying it was rejected not sure why because they actually sent me an email saying um like how satisfied are you with your experience are you liking your product da, 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 da. and then it takes you to a survey and then the survey says i'm sorry you did not like your product please email me to see about doing an exchange so i clicked that link sent the email to them and they sent me a thing back your email was rejected 
So I just went back and sent an email to the people I've been speaking to since I got my first concealer. So we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, enough of that. I'm done talking about that. I don't want to talk about that anymore. In the mail today, I got, they had a thing at Sephora where you could get um, the NARS. It's like a special, they had it. It's a NARS concealer and a NARS um, mascara. It's a little sample set and I have not opened it yet. So before I started anything else, I wanted to open it right here in front of you. And I did get my Stellar Concealer in to do a Stellar Foundation Review and Concealer. And I think it's the right color concealer now. This is the NARS color. Let's see, what did I get? I got vanilla. And it says it's light too. So I'm going to try that one day um, and see how that color works. There's no odor with that. So that's a good thing. It's got a um, doe foot applicator which may or may not come in. I probably should put things in front of my face when I do the, the show thing because everything seems to focus on my face, so I should show that. But then I'm scared if I set my my settings to not show my face, then it'll like pick up everything behind me. So I've been kind of scared to adjust that. Okay, and then the mascara. It says 96% achieved full and maximum volume. 96% saw clump-free buildable volume. 100% saw instant curl to bake. Curl, base to tip. Okay, the 96% not clump. Okay, that, I'm probably not 4% that's going to see the clumps because if you've seen my videos, you know I have problems with mascara. Except the Fenty. I love the Fenty. I love that. I love that a lot. This is what it looks like. I like the look of that. Look at that. That's really cute. I really like that. But, you know, we'll see what the brush looks like. Ooh, I don't know, guys. It, it's kind of bendable, but not 100%, but that's a very big brush. Um, I did see it online. It looked like it was big, but it looked like it was squatty. So it's, I mean, it's a longer brush. It's not short and squatty, but we'll see. Um, I was going to try my Iconic London today, but since I have this, I might as well try it while I have you on here. But of course, I'll do it off camera more than likely because I always do it off camera. And I want to talk about the bling brushes since I always use them in all my videos. They are having a restock today. They're having a restock of um, the Starry Night collection, which is these here and I actually ordered some of the larger size in the, the Starry Night and then they have the silver and the rose gold and the bring on the bling. The bring on the bling and the rose gold in the complete sets they are doing a pre-order for those and they start shipping them April 20th I believe but you can buy them singly they have some of those left and then they have the silver back in. I got a couple um I believe I got the silver maybe I got the rose gold in the eyes because I have like bits and pieces of each set. So uh, anyway, I ordered a few more of those to complete my sets. Anyway, the two palettes that I got in the other day was the Euro Cutie and um, all that. And I thought I was gonna have it all planned out what I was gonna do to make it go quicker. But like I said, I just had a really funky day. I did use um, my ColourPop Going Coconuts, the Coconut Beach. Um, I always have problems with don't I? It's the bronzer but I used as a contour today and I did use the ColourPop powder and I also used my my BH cosmetics underneath my eyes and around my nose. And I will be using my ColourPop um, Super Shock. I'm going to use Prenup today and I also forgot to show you this the other day. It was in my purse but I got um, the Simply Sweet and that's part of the, the Biddy collection and this is what that color looks like. It's also one of the Super Shocks um, but I had that in my purse because I had used it that day and then I forgot to tell you too that I got um, this set in it's awesome it's awesome it's the lippy scrub and it actually has like a little cover on it and that's what it looks like and usually I am not good with lip scrubs I love the Jeffree Star like the taste of it and the feel of it but every time I use it my lips like get really really chapped and they get really sore so anytime like no matter what brand I've ever tried it always does that this does not this actually makes my lips really really soft and I don't have that the peeling that I usually get and then it also comes with a lippy balm like so that you can put on right afterwards and I'm just I love it I use it like three or four times a day and it's actually replaced my heels and I use it at night and I just wanted to tell you all about that real quick okay so this is what the Euro Cutie looks like in case you didn't see my last video lots of beautiful colors in there for springy spring 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 because you know it's right around the corner guys the groundhog saw his shadow and then the, all that looks like this. So they do have some similar kind of plays in there. So what I might just do, I might just play a little bit out of each one of them. You know, why not, right? Why not? And I will be playing around a little bit with, with these two um, highlighter, the Super Shock. 
I'm gonna play around with that too. All right, so I wanna start. We're just gonna do this eye on camera. And I will be using my bling brush, obviously. I'm gonna be laying down this color right here. I'm not gonna say color names because if you see it in the palette, because they have to pick up my glasses on my magnifying glass to look at it and it makes it take too long for the videos and my videos go long enough anyway. I'm just gonna show you the color. I'm gonna use that color right there. And I'm just gonna go, and I do have a mirror down here that I'm using, so I'm gonna try to bring it up. If you see it glare, it's, it's from my mirror where it hits my other lights. But I wanna try to get a straight on look. And that's a very pretty pink. I like the way that looks. I'm getting my hair cut next week. It's getting too long. And I'm really disappointed about that foundation because I've been trying to try to find something good. And so far, the, my, my Uma is what I like the best. Um, the ColourPop, like I said, it was not bad. I liked it. The way I didn't, eh, it was okay. The, um, what do you call it? Oh, Ofra was horrible. Like, probably worse. It was worse than this. It was, it was, it was awful. It looked all, all horrible on my skin. It felt horrible on my skin. This actually feels better than with the Ofra. The Ofra I'll never ever use again. It's probably going to sit like in the back of my closet because it's too hard for me to try to return it. So that's, yeah, that, that was, that was just, that was nasty. I don't even know how to describe it besides nasty. Totally nasty. I didn't like it at all. Like, no, I did not. Did not like it. And then, let's see. I think I'm going to try my eyes a little different today. I think I really, really am. Like, totally different. This color right here. I want to see what that looks like. Mm -hmm, if it focuses for you. Nah, it's kind of focusing. Kind of, sort of. I've probably been having a lot of problems focusing. I moved my camera. Like, usually it's, like, sitting over this way more. And I don't know if that's what, I, what I'm doing wrong. I'm going to have to end up moving it back. Ooh, a lot of kick up in the pan. Ooh, a lot of kick up in the pan. I think I grabbed my wrong brush again. I did that the other day, too. I'm just kind of fading that into the one I just put in. Of course, you know, with my hooded eyes, it's really hard to tell. So hopefully it's coming across okay. I don't know whether or not I got my lights up too, too bright or not. I get almost scared to turn them down because then I'm scared that I scared. I'm scared to turn it down. Okay, let's see if that helps. I'm just scared that it won't show up at all if I do that, but we'll see. Okay. Next. Next. I'm going to use this color. And like I said, if you saw my other video, this is a very soft color. Um, I wish you could. All right, this is just no working. I swear it's got to be the angle. I think it's the angle and the way this, the light's reflecting. But that's the color I'm going to use. It's kind of like, um, it's like the Super Shock Shadow, so it's kind of like a wet feel. but it dries like to your face. And I did use my P. Louise 0 .05 for my eyeshadow base. You see it dries as soon as you put it on. So it's wet feeling, like creamy feeling in the pan. But then as soon as you put it on, it dries down like a glitter. So I'm gonna kind of tap it on because I don't want to chance it like going all over my face.
It's a lot pinker on the eye than I thought it was going to be because it's like all pink. Like all pink. I wonder. Since we're, you know, like me, I just sit here and play with makeup. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to put it like right over top of that. See if it highlights a little bit more. So I'm just like kind of playing on both these palettes to see how similar they are because they have a lot of similar qualities. And a lot of ColourPop palettes do. So see, really didn't change it a whole lot. So those two are like the same, even though the formula is a little bit different. They're pretty much the same color. Not much different. But it does blend well. The colors blend well together. Okay. And the one thing I did want to try was... Um, which one was it I wanted to try? There was one the other day... I picked up that's right okay I don't know how it's gonna work on my eyes but I'm gonna try it was this one glitter down here that's um like a very soft type feel to a glitter I'm kind of a little hesitant about trying but I'm gonna stick it right here beside this other one and just see see what it does okay I see you color pop I see you you coming for the toddy palette yeah, you are. Plays down really nice. It's got that glittery look to it. It's softer in the palette like the other one was, but it dries down when you put it on your eyes without being like glitter to the house. Like it does not get all over your face. I enjoy that because I'm not good with pressed glitters. Like the other color in there is a pressed glitter. This one's more of a... Um... It's like a metallic type more than it is a glitter, but you do have to kind of pat it because the more I rub, the more it comes off. So it does perform that way like glitters do. So just kind of tap it in. That seems to work better. But it is very pretty. It's very pretty. All right. And on the outside, I don't think... I always get some monotone with some of my colors. I just don't want to do that, but that's kind of what this palette is, you know? This one here is very monotone. The um, only thing that's really different are, are like, well, basically it's like this color here. That's basically the only one that's kind of different in this palette. Um, but it's almost like it's too dark. And if you saw my video the other day, you saw that this one is not really a blue. It's more like a purple with a blue shift, but it's still like a glittery type thing. I think I'm going to try this one and we'll see what this one here does. I don't even know. So I don't have my glasses on so I can't tell. Oh, there we go. I figured it out halfway through the video, right? Looks totally different on the eye. But it's very pretty. I love ColourPop palettes. I swear I would never be a ColourPopaholic. And what am I? A ColourPopaholic. So not only am I a popaholic, <laughs> but I'm a color popaholic. I like that. I do. Now I'm going to go back with that pink that I used. Just kind of blend it all together. Okay, and then for the inner corner, I am going to use, I'm going to try this super shot, and I want to pop that on the inner corner. I got Sammy in my eyeball. I don't want my eyeball, my eyeball to glitter. I don't want my eyeball to glitter. Okay, and then up top, let's see if that'll work up top as well. Another bling, bling brush. This is actually a lip brush, but I'm going to use it for up there. And you do with their super shocks, you got to kind of pat them in. this underneath oh, I 
I got someone on my nose. Why don't you guys tell me I had some on my nose? Seriously, dudes. What's wrong with you all? I love you guys. You mean so much to me. Just coming over here and hanging out with me. Keeps my depression a little bit at bay. Okay, so my little cheat sheet here. I'm gonna take the corner, wipe it off. All right, so I'm gonna go off camera and we'll do my under eye, put on my uh, mascara and my eyeliner, and I shall return. Be right back. Okay, my lovelies, this is the finished look. I really, really love these palettes, which is no surprise for all you guys that seen my videos before, because you know I love ColourPop. And no, this is not sponsored. They have no clue who I am at all. Then again, not many people do. Yeah, not many people do. But that's okay, because you do. Anyway, I really like them. Um, there is a lot of kick up in the pan, like I said, and I wanted to show you guys the kick up in the pan. Some of it's actually come off like on the thing where I had them closed, but you can kind of still see. You can see it in this one, um, the colors that I used, and you can actually see it on that. And then on this one, I did go back and use this on my under eye. And then I used, um, let's see what other colors did I use? I used a little bit of this one under my eye and I did pop a little bit of this one too underneath there and then I used a little bit of this light color I used a little bit of that um, like right here under my eye but you can see there's a little bit of cook up, kick up in that pan as well um, not as much on here as what the other one was but I mean for $18 a palette guys come on yeah it's freaking good you know because you can pay you know, $60 a palette and get kick up for $18. I don't get any fault on my face. And to me, that's more important than kick up in the pan. And you're not wasting it. It's not like so much kick up that you're wasting the pan. The only thing I can see actually probably hitting pan quicker is going to be um, this color here because it really, if you can, yeah, you can see that. Really, I've kind of dug in. You can really see just by using that little bit that I used here in the corner. Um, just right in there. Okay, it's not focusing on me. That's really weird. Um, my battery, I think, is getting a little low. But it's probably going to hit, I'll probably go hit pan on that one because I like that one. So it's probably, probably going to hit pan. Love these. Um, is it a blinding highlight? Not when it's by itself, but when I used this color for my blush and then I used this color for my highlight and then I added this as a topper, it just bombed it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I like the fact that it's got that wet feel to it. I really, really do. And then actually what I did for my lips is I actually went in with this color here, which um, it's actually one of their, their Lux Velvet lines. Um, and it is in color ooh, la, Southbound. And I actually used this color, which is this color here. I showed that some of my other videos. Um, and I use that on, I'm not sure if it's coming in very clear. Um, I use that and then I went in with a little bit of this color that I got from um, BH Cosmetics that I got in the other day. And I put that a little bit, but then I thought, what happens if I put some of this on? So I use that like right here and it automatic, like, automatically pumped my lips. I'm like, well, yeah, we're gonna do that because we're gonna have plumpy lips without having to stick needles in my lips because that's something I'll never do because I'm too chicken. I don't like to get Botox in my, in my wrinkles in my forehead. Yeah, I would, but not in my lips. Hell no. I ain't stick nothing in my lips. You crazy? No, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, um, and as far as the mascara goes, it wasn't bad. Um, what I did was after I used my little lash curler and curled my... It does kind of get everywhere, though. Anyway, after I used my lash curler and curled my eyelashes a little bit, I put it on, but then when I went to put another coat on, it started to kind of miss those lashes. Like my right eye, you can really see it in the right eye. If you look, you can see where I'm still having a lot of problems with my right eye. Um, like right there still, that's not growing in. 
And the right eye is more hooded, so I do have a lot of problems with anything on this right eye, whether it's mascara, eyeshadow, or whatever. So I did go in with my Iconic London, so I wanted to give it a try. I used that on my lower lashes, and then I went like back with one coat of that over top. And I really like it. So we'll see how that works by itself when I get my BoxyCharm in, because the BoxyCharm is going to have the Iconic London palette, is what I picked this month. And I should be getting that, hopefully, I'm hoping to have it another week or so. People are already starting to get their BoxyCharms in. And I have not watched any videos yet because I want to see what I get. So I'm like, they give you sneak peeks. So you kind of know, you know, what you're kind of getting. But I just, I'm trying to resist watching any of those videos anyway. Um, for my setting spray, I did use the, um, the ColourPop one. And then I did go in with my Beauty Bakery over top of it. So I'm kind of waiting to see how that plays out through the day. But anyway, that's about all I have for you guys. Thank you again for being here with me. And I do feel so much better now that I that I have done this and like I said it took me like three hours just to get the the nerve to come on and just be able to get up here because it just some days really psych me out and today is one of those days I told my son earlier I'm like I'm just like really psyched out I can't get myself to to do it so I just like took a few deep breaths and I'm like you got this you know you got this Jenny you can do this and here I am and I did it so yay me right it just some days just really bite the bullet you know I just really gotta bite that bullet and some days just bite ass and today it started out as bite ass and I bit the bullet and I'm done now I gotta go upload it so you guys can see it and I probably have some bloopers at the end because my dogs are being buttholes in the background but now they're all sleeping and they're all like calm just in time for them to get up and have dinner which I might try to do because I haven't eaten no I, I lied I had some yogurt yeah I did I'm, try I'm trying to eat better and I've gained two pounds so my doctors could be really happy with that I'm still learning to to deal with the anorexia and I'm learning to accept the two pounds because for me that's like somebody else gaining 10 so it's a little hard and I'm, I'm learning I'm trying to 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 I don't know if eat more is the right word I'm just trying to accept the weight as it comes um, to me 92 pounds is a whole lot of weight to someone else it may not be and anorexia is not fun it's not something I'd wish on anybody just like my cancer I wouldn't wish it on anybody either um, and it's not about oh my god I gotta be skinny oh my god I gotta throw up my meal because I never throw up my meals I've never done that and I, I can stick my whole fist down my throat you can probably put a tractor trailer mouth down my throat I have no gag reflex so that's nothing I've ever done nothing I ever will do I just restrict my food I restrict my intake so like for the last few days I've been seeing that 92 consistently on my scale when I've like in my brain I want to restrict I'm like I gotta get back down to 88 I gotta get back down to 89 you know if I get down to 90 I'll be happy and you know, let's just restrict a little bit more let's just do that you know but I haven't been I've actually been continually eating I've been eating dinner every night I've been eating my yogurt every morning so that's big for me so that's a victory for me and I'll take every little bit of victory I can get because I go back to the doctor this month for labs again and then I go back to my, my therapist again next month. So I'm hoping that she'll see that as a positive step because I do. I see it as a positive step and every little positive step is me healing a little bit more. So thank you for being here with my journey because every little bit of my journey, whether it's makeup, whether it's cancer, whether it's anorexia, it's all one big journey that we all do together. So guys, go out and be good to each other. Have a wonderful, blessed weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. As you know, my dogs are here. You hear them in all my videos, and they're acting up today. They've been fighting for like three days. So yeah, they've been doing this. They won't stop. Yeah, anyway. Um, okay, can we say blooper reel? Because that's going to be in the bloopers at the end of this video. And they are still doing it. This is going to be interesting. Anyway, I've already.